and Devil Sniper here, episode number 11, season number 6 of our career mode with West Ham United. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who posted a comment in episode number 10 and episode number 9. The feedback you gave me was very, very much appreciated and I really do take everything on board. So, let's get into this episode. As you can see, we're playing a home game against Stoke City. Oh, Stoke City, one of the teams who have really caused us a lot of problems over the last six seasons. And you're probably thinking, new guys to the channel are probably thinking, how can Stoke cause you problems? Ken Win jones He has been biblical against us. He has pretty much scored probably a goal every game against us. There may have been a few occasions where he hasn't in cup games, etc. But he's had such a good goal-to-game ratio against us. It's been unbelievable. So you can never underestimate Stoke City. Plus, they're a very dogged side, a very fit side, a very, very physical side. But we're putting out a very strong side. We are definitely going full throttle. As you'll see from the actual league table, we are sitting proudly at the top of the tree. Chelsea and Everton still yet to lose. Bolton, Newcastle, Manchester United applying pressure, along with Manchester City and Spurs languishing halfway down that, that first section of the table. But Stoke City kick off, and the ball's gone out for a, for a throw in. I don't think their manager, Tony Poulis, is going to be very happy about that. That is uh, a bit of a shock there. But Lamella has the ball for West Ham United. Centre of the park. He's drifted inside. Going past the Stoke City midfield. But unfortunately, he's just muscled out. And Stoke managed to keep hold of the ball and clear it with constant ease. But again, Lamella trying to get involved early doors. Cuts inside into centre of the park. Plays a delightful ball across to Zaha. Zaha on to Destro. Destro looking for somebody. And it's, it's Lamella drifting inside into the camera. He's trying to go forward. He's trying to do some skill moves. He knocks it into Destro. Destro into Stefan of all people getting forward. And the ball is cut out. But it's Stoke on a counter-attack. Kenwin Jones cuts inside, gets the ball over to Ness, but that's great play by Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw cut across from the left-back position to cover his centre-back, and that was absolutely fantastic, intelligent defensive play. But again, it's Stoke City. Wilson to Brunt, to Wilson, to Ness. Ness fires the shot. Great save by Barrera, and unfortunately... Bruno Schmartin Indy did not react quick enough and Ness follows up with the 36 minute to give Stoke City an undeserved away lead at this moment in time. But it's Zaha drifted inside, knocks the ball into Pogba. Pogba knocks the ball into Bonaparte. Bonaparte, time, space! Oh my days, it comes as a shock when Bonaparte puts the ball over the top. But it's Stefan getting forward, knocking the ball back into Pogba. Pogba into Destro. Destro into Bonaparte! And he has equalised this time. He will not miss too many opportunities. Filippo Bonaparte had... The early shot which just went over the bar, but you give him that amount of time and space in the box, he's going to punish you. And it's Lamella cutting inside yet again in the centre of the park. It's all opening up for him. Lamella's on the shot. Lamella pulls the trigger. Lamella just puts the ball over the bar. That was sensational from Eric Lamella. He has been an absolute revelation since arriving at West Ham. And the halftime score is West Ham United 1, Stoke City 1. And on the basis of the play, Stoke are lucky to be in this game. But Jones has been put through. Danny Barrera comes out. What a confident goalkeeper at 16 years old. That took a lot of bottle to come out and face down Kenwin Jones there who is an absolute giant. But Stoke are applying the pressure. The ball is with Knightley. Knightley chips the ball up and there's an easy goal for Brunt. Unfortunate defending there from West Ham United. They were just split open with some nice passing from Stoke City. But it looks like we're going to be making a substitution. I must say, Danny Barrera has definitely impressed this game. He's been playing with such confidence. He does not strike me as a player who is 16 years old. He's been playing fantastically. So, Rocket Bassi and Ola John have come on for West Ham United. Gabby Adini having a really quiet game. But Bassi looking to get involved early doors. Knocks the ball into Bonaparte. Bonaparte drifting past the defender. Bonaparte putting the ball in the back of the net after 74 minutes to draw the game level. You do not give Bonaparte any time. On the pitch, he's just deadly from any range. But Stoke City coming, flying back. Oh my days, what a miss. Brunt with literally an open goal. Unbelievable. Bassi picking up the ball, centre of the park, knocking it back into Bonaparte. Bonaparte on his left foot. Great save. Bassi with the follow-up. 3-2 to West Ham United in the 88th minute. What a fantastic piece of play there by Bassi. Coming on as a second-half substitute. Never giving up the hope of scoring. Follows up the rebound. A great shot from Filippo Bonaparte, as we've come to expect. I think it's more surprising that he didn't score. Left foot shot low. Keeper parries it. And Bassi is on hand to nonchalantly head the ball home to give West Ham United a 3-2 lead. But there's still time for Stoke to come back. Can West Ham hold on? They certainly can. The referee has blown the full-time whistle. The game finishes. West Ham United 2, Stoke City 
2. Did I just say West Ham 2? West Ham United 3, Stoke City 2. I do apologise for that absolute monumental cock-up on my behalf. So, let's have a look who's leaving on international duties. What I've got to say, look at that. Zemanski is leaving for the United States, which is fantastic. And what's this text message? Gaffer, I've come to you to discuss my wages. I work hard in training and for the team, and I feel I should be paid a little bit more as a result. Well, Stefan, I actually agree. I will have a chat with the board, and we will see what we can do. So the board have come back and said, yes, we will grant me some additional funds. As you can see, we have quite a bit anyway, to offer a new contract. Now, Stefan would like a one-year extension with £50,000 a week. That will basically mean he'll be at the club for three years, eight months, which is a fantastic deal. The boy is a fantastic player, very cultured, as you would have seen in the Stoke game. If you'd watched the Stoke game, you would have seen that he was bombing forward quite a lot and doing a really good job. But while I'm here... I want to sign up a rocker. I want to get rocker tied down for a good three years. He's a fantastic player. He has such potential that, um, to be honest with you, I'm not here to muck about. I want to keep these boys at this club. I'm not looking to get rid of our potential stars, nor our superstars, to be honest with you, because we need to build for the future. We have such a foundation for, a, for, for such a really solid team. As you can see, contract-wise, everyone's got a pretty good contract at this moment in time. Obviously, Butlin on his 100 grand a week. Um, ever since he signed that contract, he hasn't been playing too well. Miguel's, he's alright, he's got a three-year contract, so I'm not too worried about that. So we're going to go into an away game at Aston Villa, and again, you can see we are putting out a very, very strong side. Filippo Bonaparte will be rested this game, just for the pure fact that he had a slight niggle in training. He had a slight calf strain, and I don't want to, uh, to risk him at this moment in time. I feel it will be detrimental to the season, detrimental to the fans, and detrimental to uh, Filippo because uh, obviously he wants to uh, continue to play for his country as well as playing for his club. So, Destro picking up the ball. Ah, oh, slightly sloppy there from Destro, but he manages to knock it through to Adrian. Adrian goes for the audacious top corner bender, but unfortunately he does not pull it off, which is a great shame. And that's the Villa are straight on the attack. Nice ball into the centre of the goal, and... Butland does not come out and claim that. And Ireland gives Aston Villa an early lead after 18 minutes. It looks like Butland and Danny Barrera are going to be swapped up. It does look like Locke wants to keep Butland. Doesn't want to get rid of him as Gabbiadini breaks inside. Left foot shot. Oh, my days. That just goes wild. That was about 23, 24 yards out. He doesn't have that range in his locker, unfortunately. He has a very hard shot, but just cannot seem to manage to score those from 25 yards out, unfortunately. Ireland with a fantastic chance, but it's wasted. Adrian, centre of the park, knocking the ball into Gabbiadini again. Gabbiadini with the fake shot, breaking into the box. And what a fantastic finish from Gabbiadini after 32 minutes to level the game up. He had his sighter just moments ago where he put the ball slightly wide, but he's found his range now and hits the ball low into that bottom corner. Fantastic goal there by Gabbiadini. The referee blows the half-time whistle. We are going in. Aston Villa 1, West Ham United 1, and a very, very good first half. West Ham will definitely be looking to build on that. Gabbiadini dropping deep, picking the ball up, playing with confidence after his goal. Knocks it into Adrian. Adrian surveying the area, moving forward. Nothing, too, nothing much on at all. He's got plenty of time. He's got plenty of space. Adrian's opened up for him. Oh, my days. What a goal from Adrian. The young Brazilian has absolutely come to fruition in this game, showing what he's truly capable of. Fantastic dribbling skills. Worked an area for himself and just fired the ball into a top corner. On a John with some techers. He fires the shot off and it's nestled in the bottom corner. This is absolutely El Clasico football for West Ham United. They are playing like the Brazilian team from the 1970s. Pace, power, skills and passion. Unbelievable play. But it's Garner who's broken through from the long ball. He squares it. And that is great play by Butlin there. Ireland was looking to score his second goal of the game. But Butlin just constantly came out and showed his power and aggression. A great ball over the top. It's Bassi. Surely he's going to score. Surely that's a penalty. The goalkeeper did not even challenge for the ball. He just took Bassi straight down. Unbelievable refereeing decision. I cannot believe that. That is an absolute disgrace. Unbelievable. But the Aston Villa goalkeeper kicks the ball and the referee blows the full-time whistle. So it's Aston Villa 1, West Ham United 3 and an absolutely fantastic game there. And now we're going to move into a new section. I'm going to show you, um, obviously... Thank God, Rock has just accepted the uh, the paid. Uh, we've accepted his contract, which is fantastic. We're going to have a look at some of the youth players we have potentially coming into the team, and uh, it's time to select the player for review. So, 
As it says on the screen, review time. It's time to select uh, which you player you would like to see reviewed in episode number 14. Please post your choice in the comments section below. And um, yeah, let's have a let's have a look at who we can actually have um, a review for. Would we like someone from midfield? You know, we haven't done Miguel. We haven't done Rocker. We haven't done uh, Xavi. We haven't done... Um, I don't think a goalkeeper want to be very, very good. That would be quite difficult. But um, yeah, feel free to post in the comments below who we'd like to see us actually have a look at and do a review on while we have a look at the youth players. And I've got to say, our scouts are fantastic. We've got some absolutely amazing players. You will see that I do reject a few players with potentials of 94. That's purely because I have Danny Barrera. And Danny Barrera's potential, I believe, is 92 or 94 anyway. So I'm not really too bothered about having another goalkeeper come through who has unbelievable sort of uh, potential as we already have Danny Barrera but we will be taking on um, some Brazilian lads who have some extremely high potential which would be fantastic and now I've just received a text message boss I'm going to turn down that contract extension you offered I appreciate it but I think I need a change in my career so I'm going to move on at the end of this contract but Stefan you came to me you came to me Stefan you came to me and now you're going to turn us down I am just utterly, utterly, utterly dumbfounded how players can do that in this day and age. It is unbelievable. He came to us. He wanted the contract. Unbelievable. Anyway, we have a friendly coming up. It's an away friendly to Finland. And as you know, with all the friendlies, we will be simming them all the way up to the end of the season when we will be playing in the World Club or World Cup as such. But devastating news comes in by text. Fabio Figueroa. Things haven't changed for me as far as I'm concerned, boss. So I'll move away from this football club so I can kickstart my football career somewhere else. I've got to say I'm shocked. I gave this lad everything and it's been thrown back in my face. But never fear, it's now time for the Daily Jaffa. We're going to start in the top right-hand corner. Lamella to open his own skill school. Oh my days, ever since he's gone to West Ham United, he is just growing as a talisman. Find out all the details on page 15. Just below that is over 575,000 career mode views on West Ham United videos. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. With Locke nearing 8,000 subscribers, which is just oh, sensational. He is also closing in on 600,000 video views on the West Ham United Grimo videos, thanks to the Jaffa Cake Army. Full story on page 27. And as always, remember, you can submit your own stories to the West Ham United career mode by posting in the comment section below. Just follow the, this simple format, Daily Jaffa, and then post your story. So, player prank ends in tears. An unnamed West Ham star buys Asda own Jaffa Cakes. Undercover reporter WSR Boomsteiger uncovered a cruel prank by West Ham United players to encourage Eric Lamella to buy Jaffa Cake fan Locke a packet of Asda own brand Jaffa Cakes. It is reported that Locke threw his toys out of the pram during the prank. The full story is on page three. We're now going to have a look at the Jaffa Sport. And we're going to start in the top left hand corner. Complex. The West Ham Complex will be back on track very soon. Due to extended working hours, building has been delayed. The West Ham board hopes all the fans can forgive the building team. Brady speaks out at Locke. Robbie Brady has confirmed that he felt pushed out by the West Ham manager Locke some five years ago. Brady said Locke made him out to be some sort of monster. Full details on page 38, reporter Callum Simpson. And our main story on the back page, Real Madrid chase Butland. Real Madrid step up bid for Jack Butland with a £57 million offer. Real Madrid are looking to make the England number one, Jack Butland, the biggest offer ever with wages in a region of £150,000 per week. And they are prepared to go up to £100 million. Madrid have tracked Butland since he first joined five years ago. Madrid feel Locke has had enough of the mistakes made by Butland and that Locke will show great faith in youngster Danny Barrera. Locke has rubbished such a transfer would never happen. Never happen. See page 39 for full details. Reporter. Lord Storm, 75. Now it's time to turn our attentions back to the Barclays Premier League. And we have a very tough game. We are entertaining Chelsea at Upton Park. And as you can see, Chelsea have won their last three games without conceding a goal and scoring six goals in the process. This is going to be an absolutely biblical game 
All my days. Yes, I used it. Biblical. Absolutely biblical. The stadium is packed to the rafters. We're going to look at the table. Chelsea still yet to lose. We have a one-point lead over them at the top of the table. Can we do this? Can we get the victory? Who knows? Chelsea with a kickoff. Mandzukic knocks the ball to Oscar. Oscar feeds it into Mikel. Mikel back into Oscar. Oscar into Mandzukic. Mandzukic back into Oscar. Chelsea are dominating early doors. Mikel. Mikel. <laughs>